Hey, Rich Nation, future AJ here, just to tell you, I hope you had, guys had a good New Year's, uh, happy late New Year's, uh, Merry Christmas, all your holidays. I hope you did great uh, and got some good stuff. Um, there's going to be a lot of content coming for January and for 2022. I'll make a video eventually, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew for me, happy holidays. Uh, make sure you check out the Patreon. It's the beginning of the month. Patreon.com slash AJRich123. If you want to see episodes early and uncut of One Piece and all the other stuff I'm doing, we got a lot of good stuff uh, kind of revved up for this month, so definitely check that out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and uh, let's go ahead and start. I was gonna say, why does he? <laughs> he doesn't even have to really act afraid. Because if he's no match for fur balls, little furry things here, it would be bad, right? <laughs> Walking around, bodiless. <laughs> okay, maybe he is no match for that thing. It's been a long time since they've met, so Luffy is probably significantly stronger than Buggy now. So maybe Buggy will have an issue with <laughs> everything he challenges here. In I guess Buggy doesn't count. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, Luffy doesn't count. Because technically they don't know he's there. <laughs> Buggy. Buggy's the one that's escaping. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a... That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> when did he meet up with... Like, when did he run into Ace? Okay, so it's after, it's some point after they did everything with Luffy and all that. <laughs> so he just appears on the ship? But how did he get on the ship? Are, are they in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> so much like Luffy. <laughs> you know, I'm not surprised by that. Wait, so they're not going to team up? <laughs> Maybe he's... Yeah, you're going to need Luffy's help. When you think about it, this is probably the worst time to escape. Because there's so many ships out there. <laughs> Just a pick a random person in the jail. What? Is that something I'm forgetting? Did they mention what Luffy's wearing there? Must be some rare thing. Wait, we're gonna break down his actual power? Literally, break him down? That power actually makes a little more sense because if he doesn't have his feet on the ground, none of that works. So would countering his ability, like move his leg, like if you moved his feet somewhere, like, I don't know if you, it just pick them up or did something to his feet? Does his whole ability go out the window? Because that's what I'm getting from that. What is so special about that? I feel like we missed out on a bunch of adventures with Buggy here. Why didn't we get some fillers like this? I would I would want to see more Buggy. Oh, 
おめえら新入りだな<笑><笑>勘違いで侵入した海軍の駐屯地でとっつかれこの監獄にぶち込まれたわけだが<笑> That's how he got thrown in? Okay, that's, that's very... It's very buggy-like <laughs> So you have to go all... Okay They're not even close This is going to be a challenge, especially now that they know that they're there. Huh. So they hide people down there. Or maybe some people have been down there forever. Oh, uh, that's what that does? <laughs> Luffy didn't even realize it. Maybe. What? <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love that. What can Buggy say? Oh, that's trusting. That's so trusting. <laughs> Even Buggy can't leave now. I'm... He's gonna stay, right? Oh. Yeah, because he... How, yeah, he, he probably needs Luffy anyway. Does Buggy have the most memeable face in One Piece? I've seen, like, ten possible thumbnails in the matter of five minutes of his face. It, this is crazy. I missed Buggy. By the way, I slept, like, ten and a half hours like a madman, so I have the energy of... I, of a million energies. I got Luffy energy right now. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Did she just lower that to... Is she just say, hearing half of her name? I gotta remember I'm on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> now we know what's on her mind. The voice she wants to hear. Oh, God! He, he, he likes the abuse. Well, you're going lower, that means you're going to lower levels. So dropping is a good thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that is... Okay, those are spike trees. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It's only level one. Uh, there you go. The feet are on the ground. And how is that? Where would be the escape from hell? Oh, of course, a hole. Just go down a hole to get to another stage of hell. The deeper they go, the harder it's going to be to escape. <laughs> Jump first, think later. Are you gonna do that though? Or is he gonna somehow get pushed down? It's that seems in character, but I knew it!
But your body is falling, right? Yeah, he had to be forced. Okay. At least it keeps in character. He wasn't gonna help him. <laughs> He's getting pushed to his feet. I guess that's why that information was good to know. Underwater prison impel down level two floor of wild beasts from hell. Oh, what? Oh, shit. This is where he's been. I forgot we could run into to familiar people. Oh, man. Yeah, that was the one thing I wasn't really thinking about just because when we were in level one, you don't like, I didn't know the drastic differences, but now at level two, the deeper they get, it's going to be worse getting out because they're already having to put effort into going down. So yes, that's the, the thing about what I was talking about. Maybe a plan should be needed because once you get to him, even if you break him out, how the hell are you going to get back up? It was already a pain in the ass to get down. And it's always harder to, to go up a hill than down a hill, right? So it, it's going to, this is going to be really complicated for them. I love that Buggy is forced to help him. I actually even thought Buggy had a heart for a second, uh, like, but then he was going to leave anyway. So that kind of defeated my thought process there. But um, I like the combo though. I like Luffy and Buggy having to team up. I'm glad that he's staying with them. It, it's uh, there are very out of the interactions of people I've seen in this show. It's some of I, I feel like it's some of the funniest. I like their back and forth. Maybe it's just because Buggy's funny on its own, but combine that with Luffy's attitude and how he acts is I I feel kind of perfect. Um, so more of that dynamic I will not complain about. It's a little too late for that. <laughs> now you just have to find where your feet and rest of your body landed. Are you though? You're trapped. I mean, you're stuck down here. <laughs> and now you can't. Yeah, now he has your head. Um, Luffy's not as bad as Zoro in directions, but he's not very good which is gonna make this pretty challenging. How are you going to take advantage of him though? You kind of need each other. <laughs> Wait, that's supposed to be? That looks like something you would find in like Hungry Hungry Hippos. It's that small. Put it in the board game. It's... Or not. Oh, what the? The way that thing ate? No wonder it's down here. It devoured. Like it was lightning speed. The Hungry Hungry Hippo. Um, a mantis? I mean, how many times can you get chopped? I would think a million. <laughs> He's sounding like a Pokemon. Might as well just make him Scyther. Why does he have like a little policeman hat on? It makes me think, is he like a security guard of the beast from hell or something? That's my cannon. That's my head cannon. I don't care. Worse? Oh, yeah. Worse. Everything just looks hungry. Uh, oh, now looking close, a big giant chicken thing. All these things are mutants. That is not what I'd imagine what a basilisk looks like. I know these things are... 
That thing's a literal security guard. Obviously, if they're out, they're security guards, but... <laughs> Really? Skipping to third gear? To fight a mutant? I wonder if they're going to think that he's there. He's trying to get Buggy out. Wouldn't that be the funniest thing? They come to that conclusion. He's conspiring with Buggy. What a place to put in office. Wouldn't you want it? Higher up and more comfortable. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. 10 hours in the bed. I thought I had digestive problems. Holy fuck. This guy's on the toilet almost half the day. Half your day is ruined. What the hell is he eating? The guy practically lives in there. Oh. Maybe that's why he goes to the bathroom? Maybe having that type of fruit would fuck up your digestive system. Wouldn't that be the worst thing if that was the power? You get digestive issues. That's gotta be normal now. Wait, you're poison? You're eating poison soup and then you're wondering why you're having diarrhea and, ba and bowel problems. <laughs> Either way, I don't think it would be good. Oh God! So po automatic poison breath? Probably just has horrible breath too. <laughs> Even when she's kicking, <laughs> she has to do her pose. How does she not break her back? That's all I want to know. <laughs> okay, you couldn't work with them. You'd die. Jesus, they probably have those everywhere. <laughs> God, she's so cute. Yeah, but you can't fight that. Unless you're Luffy. Everyone should know what Luffy looks like now. Luffy's, uh... See, that's... This is the problem. God damn. I guess that shows how tough that thing was. Something I've noticed that he turns out of Chibi Luffy, at least you guys let me know if I'm right here or if you notice the same thing. It seems like he goes off of it faster than when he originally used it. Does that mean he's getting better or, or it's just coming or just the way it's showing it, it lets him go back faster. But it seems to me he's going out of Chibi Luffy super fast now. Uh, is it worth it? I don't, yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. <laughs> you got to help him. Come on. Will Luffy even recognize him? <laughs> uh, let me guess. Buggy's going to be a dick. <laughs> That's nice of Buggy. Huh. He probably wants the favors, obviously, but still. Oh, my God. Did Buggy just get... Oh, my God. Did he get, like, more... Are these going to be crew members for him? Holy shit. I have a feeling they're going to be loyal to him. I know he wanted something for it, but still, like, in the case of them thanking him, but... That was still weirdly nice. Okay, never mind. They're probably not going to help him now. They're probably all going to get torn apart.
<laughs> Wait, they're putting themselves back in the cells? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yeah, now he doesn't have anybody to help him. I knew it! I knew it! Look at the number! <laughs> I was gonna say this is not somebody I would think that would come back, but... We've seen some random people. I never thought, like, Hachi would come back. So, I guess I really should expect anybody at this point. Well, now they know he's there. That's the scary part. Oh, somebody has escaped. Huh. Uh, this is, uh, as usual, this is pretty interesting. Uh, nobody's, uh, well, now they're saying one person has escaped before, but the odds of somebody escaping is already slim. Luffy makes it worse by going further and further down. Um, <laughs> further and further down this place, the harder it's going to be to get out. Um, unless there's some type of, like, way of not having to go way, like... No, because you'd be underwater, so it's still impossible. Yeah, because it'd be still impossible. Because even if there was some type of secret door, or trap door, or something down below to get out, uh, that would be uh, you would be in the water, so you'd be screwed anyway. Unless there's uh, some type of transportation or something. Outside of that, you got to make your way all the way back up. So uh, either way, this is gonna be a pain. Um, I, I find it kind of cool bringing back somebody like Mr. Three, uh, because if somebody like him or Hachi or someone can come back, we could really get anyone to come back, which is really cool because there's been through 400 plus episodes. There's been so many like very interesting characters that were like in an arc and then they were, uh, you know, never shown again. Or in some cases we saw uh, them like for a second or two seconds when they were kind of flashing back to people. Um, but outside of that, we haven't, they kind of get forgotten. So it's kind of nice to see some people just come back out of nowhere. I, I've, uh, I've said this before about people returning. I really like that. Cause I think a lot of these characters deserve more screen time. I mean, there is plenty of characters in this show that I feel, uh, could have their character fleshed out or could, um, I don't know, just could be interesting to see again so i i i appreciate that i've always appre i really i've always appreciated that about this show it's see it like they seem really willing to bring back people so i it's something i really enjoy uh but anyway if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell you can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash hrich123 definitely check that out uh, that and all my links are in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.